Do you know what's better than throwing your money at PNGs you might get? Throwing your money at PNGs you are 100% gonna get, so you can then put them on PNGs you might get. Let's look at all the new skins we are gonna get up until and including the next anniversary event. Right now it's summer and I'm sweating more than a Minecraft YouTuber when he hears the word hard drive. And what better to enjoy your summer than to spend some funny gems on Christmas themed holiday skins. Nothing screams summer just as much as reindeers, ribbons and knee high socks. Apparently. I might have been the first person in human history to say that, so feel free to rewind and say it alongside me. Anyway, this is Erato, who some of you might remember as a free operator you could get during contingency contract, some of you might remember her as the chick who plays music on a fucking murder weapon. Most of you will probably not remember her at all. According to her files, she wants to suckle on Pallas's rose or something. Those Greeks sure know how to get a party going, don't they? They also know how to have good hair, cause this right there looks amazing. As you can see, Erato spends her days drawing a doctor doodle on a window, and that's the reason she has a palace doll instead of trying to riz up the real palace, cause she spends her day with her fingers at a window instead of going outside and socializing. Girl has more to do with windows than software engineers. If somebody was looking through my window, I would write go fuck yourself onto the glasses. And if that somebody was a medical professional with a deep hood, I would call one of those true crime YouTube channels. Overall though, this is an extremely cute skin, it captures a really nice and wholesome vibe, and I assume you were expecting me to talk about her legs or something, and I could try to come up with some degenerate bullshit that makes you write a timestamped comment asking me about what I am cooking. It's pasta by the way, with dinosaur chicken nuggies. But I am real talk just amazed by how artists manage to make a drawing look so comfy. I use wool socks all the time, believe me, they are comfy. Absolutely amazing skin, like genuinely, it really looks good. Grey Alter. After OG Grey got a Christmas skin, the new one also brought something to the function. Craftsman G Wonderland. A Grey My G. Clearly, Grey has spent a lot of time between those two skins, watching a bunch of Gary V clips on TikTok, and decided to open up a side hustle to create some extra income. Selling self-made nutcrackers. Ha, huh, that's kind of nutty. Man also has a bunch of accessories on him. This one rings a bell. And apparently his business is going so well that he put a fucking crown on his head. Real talk, if this continues, we will get Grey Alter too and he's gonna look like this. If his business continues to grow, that is, otherwise he will look like this. All jokes aside, boys, the attention to detail in this is actually insane, genuinely lovely art, amazing stuff. I almost feel bad for writing punchlines about this. Speaking of feeling bad, Golden Glow with her first skin. Honest to god, everything about this piece just makes me smile. I'm not the biggest fan of holiday skins, but I think I'm gonna get that one just so that Golden Glow won't look like she's in constant pain in my operator roster. You should buy it too, and I'm not saying this because there's an armpit man behind me ready to bite my head off. Have you heard of the armpit man by the way? They are those weird monsters you see when you overdose on horse tranquilizer. We really went off topic there, didn't we? Not really, she has a syringe in her skin. With it, she can inject a load of wholesomeness into you that's big enough to make an adult-sized Florida man smile. She's cute as fuck, that's what I'm trying to say. But hey, at least there's an infected armband thingy there to remind you that this is still Arknights and your most favorite characters are suffering on a day-to-day -day basis. Nice, time to get drunk as fuck to cope with that fact. Who's joining me? Then there's Pudding with Fire Tree Spirit, a skin that includes surprisingly few burning trees. It's a good ass skin, I don't have a lot to say here, pure quality and you can get it for free! Yeah! Check out the sick architecture in the background too, looks somewhat Central European, maybe German. Then there's a sign with the name of a Greek mountain, German building with a Greek sign, obviously a reference to the Greek restaurant I went a couple of days ago. It tasted amazing, but I got crippling diarrhea from it. Before we continue, when it comes to protecting your data online, subscribe to the channel. Do it. Now, we leave Christmas behind and jump ahead to the Chinese New Year. Time zones are fascinating, aren't they? There's always winter somewhere around the planet. 
Black Knight, Fragrance from the Branches. The title perfectly describes what happens when Jeremy climbs a tree, and the similarities between the perfume Donny and her don't stop here. Check out that fucking bong over there. Girl is about to hit that Yanis Zaza. That's why there's purple haze everywhere. Girl was getting more baked than Lynn's cake, more shit-faced than the loathsome dunk eater. Fuck it, more stoned than... But honestly, look at this long snouted slumber foot. Homie looks just like Square Bob and Rick after they went to a mall in that one episode that made me cry when I was a kid. For real, this skin is absolute perfection and a must buy. Out of all the skins we have mentioned so far, this is the one I can guarantee I'm 100% gonna use. Cantabile, Illumination Z of Daylights. I think there should be a comma there or something, but honestly I'm the last person should talk about Grammar Witch. Who cares about that stuff anyway, the art is absolutely stunning. What do you want me to say? There are no jokes to be made here, it's just really good. Muleberry, Reflection Z of the Moons. Once more, I think some punctuation would be pretty cool here, but this one is also insanely nice, especially with all of those little goldines. Look at their eyes, I swear this guy can see sounds. If you play a song to him, he will tell you what color it is. Show him Drake and he will say it's pink. Show him pink and he will say it's gold. God, I miss the 2010s. Very pretty skin and if you get the one for Cantabile, you have to get this one as well. Here is Link with a beautiful life 2D skin just like her siblings before her. I first read the skin's name as It Does What She Thinks, which I thought to be a reference to the fact that I let blue-haired women control my life. No wonder I'm an alcoholic. Speaking of alcoholic, in this skin Link seems way less than the alcoholic she actually is. Guess that leaving the mountain and spending time with people turned her into an actual, respectable member of society. The skin is perfect, I'm gonna say it's probably my favorite one out of the siblings, especially the hair is just insane. It's kind of got a Lucina-ish color, but the way it moves and stuff is also so good. By the way, yeah, the skin has life 2D effects. I really don't feel like finding a way to show off the effects here. Go and find it yourself or something if you actually care. Fun fact, my Link is Elite Zero level 1. My Chen is maxed out. Yep, blue-haired women. Cruise Alta is up next and it is a very good looking skin. Not a lot to say here. Okay, we have not been cringe enough today. Beautiful tits. And Rack. Love it. No, but seriously, if you take the planets shown in the newest Todd Howard showcase and cut them in two, you have less mass than here. They look like Deontay Wilder's fists. That's the type of stuff you can find on Nexus mods. Nah, but seriously, this drawing is very nice, beautiful artwork in the background and stuff. So that's a big W for the breast community. Shout out to the breast community. And now click on this video right here. It will give you some very useful insight on all of the upcoming operators we will get. Subscribe to the channel and cheers.